Well, Ryan, it's a player that you've been uh, chasing for a while now, and it's uh, finally come to an end. How excited are you to have uh, Maxi Ruthi on your squad now? Well, always excited to, um, to be able to bring in a player of um, uh, Maxi's quality, and um, it's kind of been a long time coming, and um, you know, we saw a lot of potential in him early. So, um, you know, he's still a young man, he's still only 22, which is really exciting. So hopefully he'll be, he'll be around for um, many years, and, and um, he'll evolve with this team, which is really exciting. How does it does it change anything for you in terms of plans? Where to put him in the lineup? Uh, do you keep the same shape as you've had before? Just now, you have a more of a offensive threat up front. Yeah, no, we don't change any of the, of the shape. Um, he just fits in like like any other player does in, in the squad. Uh, you know, you know everybody knows their role, everybody knows their job. So we've got to um, so we've got to obviously you know educate him and put him through the the, the organisation and the structure on how we play and all that. But, um, you know, it's, it's always good to bring quality players in and, and Max is one of them. From what you've seen and from what you've talked to uh, with uh, Pat Onstad and Fran O'Leary about who've seen him play, what are some of his uh, big strengths that he's going to be bringing to Toronto FC? Well, um, you know, he works very hard. He's, um, he's probably, in a way, a wee bit more of an old-fashioned kind of number nine type striker. He, he always gets on the end of it. He's very good, good in the air. He, of the leaping ability is a good natural instinct for goal. Um, he's got good character, and he's um, he's a he's a really, as I said, a really promising young player. And um, it's something that again, um, a player that will build on, and um, and will, will only get better and better as he as he evolves in his career. It's the second player from Argentina this season. Is this a part of the world where Toronto is going to be looking at a lot more to see quality talent and bring them over to Major League Soccer? No, not at all. Um, we just look at good players, um, whether they're from Argentina or they're from Iceland. It doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, you know, we obviously look at certain markets where we can, you know, acquire, um, you know, good players. But um, um, no, we, we we never just. It'd be silly just to obviously just look at one country. Um, but um, he's a player that we've kept an eye on. It came available, and, and we're lucky to land him. And of course, the other Argentinian has worked out very well. It's Matias Laba, and he had a big smile on his face when uh, Maxi came into the dressing room earlier. Yeah, he did. He did. He's um, now somebody's going to understand his jokes because we don't. So, so um, yeah, I, I could see those being a couple of peas in the pod. So we better keep an eye on those two. It could be a bit of trouble. And uh, what have you heard about his fitness? Uh, is he a player that's going to be good to go? Well, obviously he hasn't played in a, in a wee bit, and um, he's been on his own training for a couple of weeks. So, um, and the MLS is a demanding league when you come in at this time. Um, you know, there's if the heat and the travel and guys are, you know, hardened for the season. So there's no expectations from us. Um, on Maxi, we'll, we'll bring him in and we'll, and we'll um, you know, put him into the team as, as he progresses. But we're not going to throw him into the deep end and expect miracles. Um, we just we just want him to enjoy his football, enjoy the, the city and, and the team and get acclimatised really well so we can see the best out of him. And finally, this will be on the minds of every fan. Do you anticipate that his paperwork will be ready for Saturday against Columbus? Yeah, hopefully. Um, you know, you, you, you can you know, never guarantee anything like this because it's kind of a wee bit out of your hands. But, but if all things are pointing in the right direction, so hopefully we can.